In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do green screen to where you can do something like this. Let's go. folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Links are in the description. So I had a subscriber um, email me, Jeff Brown, wanted to know how to do green screen to where you can do, like I've done in multiple videos where it's a little picture of me in the corner as well as something that's in the background. And I kind of want to show you a couple of ways to do that. I'm going to do this with the Ata Mini because it's built in, it has that these features built in, which makes it really easy. But then also going to show you how to do it in OBS as well as vMix. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, so the first thing you see, this is the ATEM software. And for this to be done, we're going to go over here to palettes. And then we're going to go to our upstream key. In here, you, what you want to do is click on the source that you want to use. So for example, it's going to be me, which will be camera number one, which is already set. And then you have your chroma sample. All right, so what we need to do is we have this plate here just um, setting up our color. So we want to come in here and click around the area of where our green is going to be. So if I click here and I know that based on the picture, my green is going to be right around here. So as you can see, it's updated the color as to what is being picked up. All right. So now that we got that, what we're going to do is we're now going to turn on the key. So what we're going to do now to see the transition, what we're going to do, well, not the transition, but to see the effect, we're just going to hit the on air button here. And now you can see I've levitated up here, but and you can come down here and then change the position here. So Let's bring me down some. And let's, let's do a little fine detail on this. And let's say it's 0.5, all right? And then you can change the size and say, I'm gonna do a 0.4. And now we're gonna have to come up some now. All right, so something like this. That works really straightforward, very easy to do. So let's go ahead and turn that key off now. Now that we've got that, now how do you do this? Say you don't have ATEM, what do you wanna do? Now for this to work, you're gonna to have to have multiple um, type of devices. Well, actually, let me take that back. You technically you don't, but let's just walk it through anyway. Because <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this background and I actually have two capture devices. So you can say it's the ATEM coming in, um, or you might have a webcam, something like that. So I'm gonna simulate that on my other computer over here. All right, so what we're gonna do is, obviously this is what you're seeing, what I'm recording. I'm gonna turn this off, but I have another webcam set up right here. Well, actually my camcorder, yay. And you can see my solid green color back here. So what we want to do is the UTAP is what is capturing this video right now. And as you've probably seen, I have a still image back behind here. This image can signify anything. It can be another capture device, which I'm gonna show you how to do. It could be a still image, it could be a video, and I've kind of set these up. So let's go here, let's turn this back on. We're gonna right click and go to filters, and we're gonna go to chroma key, because I already have green, that's what chroma key does. And as you can see, it kind of does it good already, and you might wanna tweak this a little bit if the color like I can still see a little bit of green through the mesh seat behind me. So I can just play around with this. And look, now we can see directly through what was there. So I have a static image. I can come over here and have a background video if I wanted to, which really doesn't have nothing there. Let's do, well, that's the same color. I thought I had something different. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's change this to a different type of uh, media here. Let's do water. All right, so you can see that's going on in the background and you can see through everything. Now, so say we want to actually bring in 
um, scripture behind us using any of the softwares, Worship Extreme, Easy Worship, Pro Presenter, whatever. I'm going to use NDI for this to make it easy to bring this in, but you could use any way. If I had a second monitor, you could do it the same way. So let's go ahead and bring in our NDI source and we'll just call this Worship Extreme. Is it on the network? Yes, it is. But let's make sure we find the right one. Not sure which, there you go, good. All right, so we got our scripture going on here in the background. And, but hey, we want to, first, we gotta put it under our layer. So now the scripture is behind us because we're green screening here. But let's resize this. And you can make a different scene for each one of these. And this simulates the exact same thing we did in hardware with the ATEM. So now, if we are going back and forth and switching scripture here, you can have the same thing while this going on. Really simple. Now, if you want something like this, I would recommend you make a scene so that you can shrink it and put it and do all the fancy stuff that you want. That makes it work great. So let's, that's OBS, really simple. Again, we've done it with um, a background with NDI. We can do it again with another video, which is the other capture device that I have connected to here. We can actually do it with the image is what you see right here. And then we've also done it with background video. So it doesn't matter. The green screen is just erasing everything behind us. Now, if you didn't have a green screen and say you had blue or something like that, you would do a color key in OBS and just select the color and it would erase the same thing. All right, so now let's close this. And let's open up vMix and let's see what that does. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Now first, let's go ahead and add our device. All right, we have our device here. And we're also gonna add our NDI, which will make it easier. Um, and let it pick up over our network, what we see. And there we go. All right, so we have our stuff here. So what we wanna do is bring this as our scripture over, and then we're going to overlay our video here. And there's a lot of fun things that you can do with this. If you wanted to, you can do it predetermined like this, but we're gonna do it a different way. So we're gonna color key, select our color, boom, all right. Or you could have just clicked on um, chroma key. <laughs> should have just did it that way. That would be easier. But um, we got that selected. And now we're just going to hit our overlay button here. And now, obviously, we're going to have to play around with the settings to get this exactly the way we need it to. So let's play around with our colors just a bit. And boom, there you go. As you can see, we're here. All right, let's go and adjust the size of this because we don't want this to be here because we're blocking everything. So let's go to position. Then we can do zoom. And then now we can place this wherever we need it to be. All right, so now we have the exact same thing. So when we overlay this, we'll get this exact same result. Now there's a lot more that you can do with this to set this up the way it will grow dynamically for this in this position. But just wanna show you just how easy it is to do with each one of the softwares. So I think that's about it. And hopefully I don't have the chroma key still on. So anyway, if you have any other questions on like how to green screen in those programs, I know I quickly went over that because it really isn't a lot to it. But if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments or email me at questions at ajhomes.com and I will do my best to get to you. Just realize because of how many emails I get, it's gonna be maybe up to 48 hours before I respond to you, but you can always submit them there and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So folks, that's about it. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I wanna thank the patrons who made this video possible as well as our new YouTube members who also made this video possible. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or with a YouTube membership, you can start as low as $4.99 where you help us train media ministries all over the world. 
This is AJ, folks. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video later.